Hi, my name's Flossy Rocks. Okay, like before you started taking your channel seriously. This wetsuit is holding on with glue, dreams, and a broke bank account balance. By diving here, I think I'm trying to make a square peg fit a round hole. It's just, it's not the right place. I would agree, having gotten in the ocean. And I am an adventurer, semi-nomadic, and I love campfires. <laughs> Thank you so much for cooking an amazing food. Thanks for joining me at our campfire. Yum. Nom, nom, nom. I used the Maryland Sound ID app. 100 grams. To identify this miniature owl. For some fireside Ooh, chats, Michigan. laughs, and storytelling. He's adventuring. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I have been inside editing all day <laughs> and it is time that I got outside <laughs> and apparently the silliness has also emerged <laughs> but it is good I have I didn't feel like talking to the camera I've been really tired my joints were achy this morning and sitting and just relaxing slash editing a video to do it's like the bulk of the work is the hard work is done and it has finally stopped raining enough that all three of us all three of us are outside for the brief period there is patches of blue sky and it is not howling an absolute gale at the minute I'm glad that you did. I went to the point. Yeah. And by that I mean about two kilometers past it. <laughs> cool. I got a lot of editing done and it feels very satisfying. <laughs> I'm really happy about getting ahead and staying on top of the work that I gotta do so it doesn't feel overwhelming and I'm still enjoying it. Time lost because it has the beacon. The way the beacon passed. 10, 10, 11 p.m. So it's like they're on the ground waiting for the bottom of the tide to go down. Weird. Yes. No. Go back. Wait. Right there. Wait. Like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Action. I spent most of the day inside where it was nice and warm and cozy, resting. Resting my knees, my bones, and my brain. Tomorrow will be another big active outdoor day. Hopefully another swim and more hiking. And it was raining for most of the day, which is lovely. I feel rested. And I'm out here for a very brief intermission of sunset for bed again. <laughs> it's great. I'm very happy. Wow. It's a lot of wet wood there. <laughs> I was not born to fade. I am not browns and greens. I am not camouflage. I am reds and yellows and oranges. Vibrant. I am colour. I am sunrise and sunset, sky ablaze.
I am lightning illuminating the grey. I am sunflowers standing tall in August. I am Roman candles in July. I am gold. I am lioness. I am passion. I am reclaiming what is mine. This mind, these hands, this patch of land, these mountains belong to me. I will exist within her lush green embrace because she is home and she is comfort. But I am contrast, you will see. I am the phoenix rising wings of fire. An undiminishable light, I have ignited myself. I will not spontaneously combust. I will glow. Cast your judgment onto me and I will turn it into ash. Floating through air, drifting, meaningless, ice melting, steam rising. I am warmth. I am fire. Poem by A.K. A bird of fire lives on inside you and me. Let our tears revive us. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, mend these broken wings. I am born again from out of these ashes, like a phoenix rising. I wish this camera had a lens that was wide enough to capture a full angle. Is it a fixed lens? Captures from like, no, but can you change the lens? Oh, yeah, no, you can take the lens off before it's on. I just haven't had the money to get a new lens for that camera. When did you get that camera? Hang on, I'm doing some year math. Oh, it's old. At least three years ago? Okay, like before you started taking your channel seriously. Because you used to post, but erratically. Oh no, it was around the time I started posting, posting regularly. Yeah. yeah. Around the time, yeah. Posting weekly is what I meant by taking your channel seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. It was nice to start like that, to give myself some sort of like, yeah. no stress, find my feet, and editing. Yeah. But then you saw me posting twice weekly and my channel going like into a job. You're like, well, maybe I should actually post once a week. I, yeah, I think also I was like <laughs> starting to be like, oh, I'm doing enough things that I can film. My relationship status changed. That, that really, was the gateway. That really helped. No, I was filming. I think I was still posting. Was I? I think I was posting weekly by that point. No, I don't think so. I don't think you were posting weekly when I started. No, my breakup. Oh, your breakup. Then I was. Because I was posting band videos. Yeah, it was early on in your weekly posting. Yeah. I'm going to get some more wood because I can't help myself. Gonna go for a swim is to get all the way to the end of this beach here because there's gonna be hopefully less waves more life and a better place to get in and dive and see more things this is a heavy cart i don't know do such normally high exercise investment pre hopping in the water swims just hold all the way from down there. And I'm gonna hop in over there. The wetsuit I have, I keep having to repair in the crotch. 
and these booties are literally falling apart after four years of wear this wetsuit is holding on with glue dreams and a broke bank account balance oh i'm gonna have to do some more repairs this week this coming week when i dry the wetsuit out and glue the crotch back together and some of the other seams which are continually falling apart <laughs> the butt of my wetsuit is like torn to shreds from hopping in on barnacles but oh my gosh nothing could stop me from getting in this ocean it's so beautiful yay low tide <sighs> right weight belt fins mask hood gloves let's do it By diving here, I think I'm trying to make a square peg fit around hole. It's just, it's not the right place. It's so sandy to stand up in the surf. There's no visibility. Yeah. It's just not pleasant. Like, I'm really enjoying being wet and in the ocean, but I'm not enjoying watching marine life, which is why I do it. So I think I'm going to take it. I'm out of the ocean. I feel like the oceans are how I have showers these days. And I am salty and happy. It wasn't great visibility. It was actually not diveable at all. I didn't even get anywhere near deep enough. But it was nice to be in the ocean and jump in a wave or two. So think surf wave jumping instead of free diving. Completely different. Uh, fun still. A lot of walking to get there, so I feel like it was a high investment, low return kind of swim. But it's fine. I feel good in my body for having moved. So I'm going on my way to see if I can find baked goods. Apparently there is a beach shack cafe thing that has baked goods, and I am all in for baked goods, <laughs> especially after a dive or a swim. Just got back from the village and I brought us back baked goods and epic variety of wild flavored, semi wild flavored kombuchas to make us feel better on a rainy, icky day. Mm -hmm. No! 
When traveling, constant movement and change of location can be quite exhausting. River full of tannins. So being able to stay at this campsite for a few days and just recenter, catch up on work was really delightful. Just before we left, we headed around the point out to the long beach. I would agree, having gotten in the ocean. That heads all the way out to the point. I don't understand. Are they the right species to keep? Them? Well, these are the red rock. But what I was checking is to see if they were males or females, but like most of them, like this one, are a male. Like, I don't see any females, because sometimes people would put females back, but it just they're keeps on males. going. Yeah, they're all large males. They all are. Maybe something happened that just killed them all. But... It's just, it keeps on going. These are all crabs. Rose Point, from Toe Hill. He didn't even let us come anywhere near close. There was no way we were going to make it to the very end. We did not have all day to hike. Quite often, I will work most of the day and then in the late afternoon, close my computer and head out for some exercise. In this case, a long walk on the beach. Literally, this time. Later on, going to Hyder House Museum. I've seen them dead, empty shells all the time. I've never seen them alive. It's huge! Put your hand next to it, just like for size. Burp. I can now picture what this landscape would have looked like when the shoreline was dotted and covered with houses and community and village and totem poles. It would have looked so different to the forested shoreline there is today. I'm back with my loonies for shower round two. Time to get clean again about a week and a bit later. I will see you in just a moment. Posters all dropped off. Patreons, your postcards are coming soon. Feels nice to be back somewhere I'm sort of familiar with is this is a stop on our way for the south to cross over to to the south southern island of Haraguay here hopefully the same camp spot that gave me excellent Starlink will still be open I'm gonna go check <laughs> Worked. It took off really well. I'm really happy with the way I underlaid it. I have a yellow jacket, a yellow drink bottle, and a yellow beverage. And yellow glasses. <laughs> and a yellow headband that you're not wearing. No. You didn't lose it, did you? No, it's just put away somewhere. Here's a yellow one. I like yellow if you don't know already. <laughs> Me and yellow things. I want yellow gumboots when I have money. <laughs> Instagram keeps advertising me yellow gumboots. Mm. Are you so excited because this ch chicken? Have you earned the nickname Mr. Chicken? Dee -dee -dee. In your din din. It's dinner time for Blake. Fire is going great. Yes, chicken.
nom, 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 nom. Thank you so much for cooking an amazing food. Mm. Bowl of food. Bowl of food, good. Brain much mush. What are you in the bush again, bud? He's adventuring. Is that what he do to you? <laughs> <laughs> he has emerged. Did you have an adventure? Are you exploring again? I'm glad you're feeling nice, right? Yeah, he's feeling so good. Cuties. Do you think Jewel's adventure in this well? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so when the internet goes out, you have no YouTube. Correct. Oh my god, I can watch YouTube as long as I want. It means I go to bed and don't stay on the phone all night. <laughs> but when I work till 1 or 2 a.m., I need to have time to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> Do you just Hello. download? Hello. I go foil up some sweet potatoes. You look really spooky because your hands are in front of your face. That's better. If you foil up sweet potatoes, I will stay up and make sure they come off the coals at the correct time. Yay! And go on the coals at the correct time because this is not the correct time. No, it is not. It's way too flamey. <laughs> I want sweet potatoes that have been fire roasted. Should I put cloves of garlic inside each one and then in the potato? Like cut it open, put a glove inside, some some little oil inside the tin foil. Like how gourmet are we going with this? No, I think you just take the sweet potato, wrap it, stab it with a fork, yes, wrap it, okay. and wrap it tight, and then that way we have we could do sweet, we could do like a salad, with roasted sweet, sweet potato. Because I've got a kale pudding. salad, pudding, <laughs> like mashed. Okay. I was like, salad. We, we could put like sugar and cinnamon in it and have it sweet. A sweet. Oh, I've sweet never, You've never put su sweetener on a sweet potato. Have you ever put sweetener, like sugar and cinnamon on like a butternut squash or like an acorn squash? Never. No. Oh, brown sugar and cinnamon on acorn squash. I'm sure mm. it is really good. I've had put maple syrup on squashes before when I've baked, baked them. That's nice. It kind of caramelizes. Yeah. yeah. Even pancakes. I prefer savory. Mm. Like, I prefer so many things savory than I do sweet. Like croissants. If I can get a savory croissant, I'll take it over a, a sweet one. Mm -hmm. Delicious is that? A northern sour owl. If we both be really quiet. This one took entirely way too much drugs. <laughs> this one's like, that was not a micro dose. And it's trapped in a loop. It's... <laughs> All of these cute pictures. <sighs> the giggles have ensued. I was wondering what that sound was last time we were here. It's palm size. No. And for scale. No. Oh, I used the Merlin Sound ID app. 100 grams. To identify this miniature owl. It has a lot to say. And whatever it's saying, it's saying it on repeat. Fork it. So you asked how many sweet potatoes, and I couldn't answer because I've had sweet potatoes this size, and, and I have had sweet potatoes where one is the same mass as the entire bag. Yes, I hear you. Yeah, I have 250 foot rolls. Perfect. I know exactly what happened to my tin foil. You use it? Yep. For mouth holes? No. Oh. But that is this, a good idea. This is a 250 foot roll, but it is very low quality. Mm -hmm. So we double wrap it? It's very thin. Um, this feels dangerous. Here, you film. I'll stab. <laughs> it's like some Bonnie and Clyde shit, isn't it? Just hold it while I stab. Oh, got your thumb. Yeah. No, I think one that size will. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so tasty. Look at that little shiny nugget. Perfect. <laughs> Stop.
Stop it! Stop it, Jamaica! This is the worst aluminum foil. Tin foil? Aluminum? Alu aluminium? Aluminium foil. Aluminium. 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 We're supposed to put shiny side in or out. There's Somebody a... told me that shiny side out. Okay, that makes sense. Because then it like, risks, like it, the heat does the thing. Whoops. <laughs> I think that the, the tip, just the tip, I think that that might be strange. We'll put it up a little more. I think this box is falling apart as well. Oh my gosh, but these boxes are notorious for like... This thing has, this, this, this roll has been some places. <laughs> been some places been, and seen some things? Been in a lot of hot pockets. Oh my campfires, Flossie, yes. campfires. Get your mind out of the gutter, Flossie. You're the one who freaking died. I don't even know if the... Okay, I think you've seen enough potato stabbing. We might pick this up later. Do you later. think it's trying to get, like, hooked up? The, the owl? Yeah. Oh, probably. Isn't that the whole deal? To communicate with other owls? For what are nefarious reasons owls get up to? Good night. Thank you so much for watching this video, coming along with me on our slow adventure with many campfires. I hope you enjoyed our giggles and laughter and can picture yourself too as a phoenix rising over all of the things that trouble you, letting your mind and body support you in the things that you want to do. If you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up it really makes a difference i read all your comments and a big huge thank you to my patreons as always i'll see you over on the community with some lovely video updates and i'll see you all next week bye